Hello students, welcome back to the class. As you remember in our last lecture, we have discussed about mole and mole concept. Uh, in our last lecture, first we have introduced mole, definition of moles, and we have uh, established some formula uh, that were used in mole concept, that were used in solving numericals, that were used in uh, establishing relationship for amount of uh, mole, molecule, and atoms, volume, etc. In today's lecture, we will move forward and we discuss about stoichiometry. We discussed about some more numericals based on mole concept. All right. So let's start the uh, let's start the class. So according to our last according to our last class, we we know the we know the formula. The first formula was number of moles equal to given number of particle given number of particle divided by Avogadro's number. This was our first formula. The second formula was number of moles equal to given weight upon molecular weight or atomic weight and you can also say ionic weight. So this was like number of moles. So this this was uh, this was our, our last two formula uh, that we can use in solving numericals for mole concept. All right. Now, so we have some numericals that we need to solve. The first question is, find the, find the number of atoms in 9.8 gram of H2SO4. This is our first question that we need to solve. So you can see that in this question, we have provided the weight of H2SO4 and the question is about finding number of atoms in this much weight. All right, let's start. So first, first we need to find, so this will be the solution. This will be the probable solution. First, we need to find number of moles. So it comes like given weight by molecular weight. So as you know, molecular weight of H2SO4 will be 1 into 2 plus 32 plus 16 into 2, 16 into 4, that comes 98 grams. So we have molecular weight 98 grams. In gram, if we talk about So we have this 98 gram. So number of moles is given weight divided by 98. So we have point 0.1 number of moles. So in this case, we have 0.1 number of moles. The second thing, but the question is about number of atoms. So the next thing would be, first, we need to find mole and we have the mole. So now we have to find number of molecules that would be moles into Avogadro's number. 
you know that one mole means Avogadro number. So two moles means two into Avogadro number. Three moles means three into Avogadro number. So number of moles, sorry, number of molecules, number of molecules of H2SO4 is mole is 0.1. So 0.1 into Avogadro number. Now this much is the number of molecules. But first we need to find number of atoms. So what would be the number of atoms? So number of atoms will be, as we know, one H2SO4, as we know, one H2SO4 contains seven atoms. So one H2SO4 contains seven atoms. So how many number of atoms, how many number of atoms containing by this much H2SO4? Once again, I'm repeating, one, one H2SO4 contains seven atoms. And we have this much number of molecules of H2SO4. So one H2SO4 contains seven. So this much number of molecules of H2SO4 contains simply seven into 0.1 into N. So this is our answer. So question is very simple. First, we need to find number of atoms in 9.8 gram, so for every case first, we need to find moles, moles ke baad, we need to find number of molecules, and after number of molecules, we can easily find number of atoms. So this is the way, this is the connection. First, you need to find mole, mole to molecule, molecule to atoms, okay? Just write down. I feel you, all of you, are understanding well, all of you are getting well, all right? So in, the, in this case, we must draw, you know, must, we must draw a link, we must observe a link between mole, molecule, atoms. So the link is, as you know the mole, as you know the moles, you can easily calculate number of molecules. And you can easily calculate number of molecules and after getting number of molecules, you can easily calculate number of atoms, all right? So number of moles, number of atoms, if number of moles is small n, number of molecules will be n into n. And as you know, if number of molecules is n into n, so number of atoms would be this is n into n and this this must be equal to n into n into number of number of atoms per molecule so this is not going to be difficult. This is like flow chart. You have a flow chart. This is flow chart. You have moles, moles too. You need to find molecules. And after molecule, you can easily find atoms. This is flow chart. Molecules to mol moles to molecule, molecules to atom. Okay. So it must to be, uh, this flow chart must be remembered. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'm sure all of you are listening and watching this carefully. Now, you can ask me, so, okay, it's okay with the atoms. If somebody asks, find the number of electrons, find the number of protons, find the number of neutrons, then. So just check out, we have another question. Find the find the number of electrons find the number of electrons in find the number of electrons in one point eight gram of water this is our Question.
is our question. Find the number of electrons in 1.8 gram water. As you know, in our last question, uh, we have find, we have calculated number of atoms. And now in this question, we have to find number of electrons. So let's find how to do this. Now, the thing is that the flow chart is same. First, you need to find moles. You need to find moles first. So first find the moles. As you know the mole, first you need to find the mole. The flow chart is like, first you need to find the moles. And then you need to find again number of molecules, of course. And here, I'm sure somebody, some students are getting confused and they are saying, sir, after number of molecules, we must find number of atoms, then we'll find number of electrons. Let me tell you, don't do this. Find moles, find molecules. After molecule, you don't need to find number of atoms because without, without finding number of atoms, without finding number of atoms, we can find number of electrons directly. How to do this? So, uh, we have this same formula. This is for number of electrons or protons for everybody. We don't need to find number of atoms for, uh, we don't need to find number of atoms for number of electrons, right? So number of electrons would be, number of moles is N, number of molecules is again N into NN. In that case, number of electrons would be N into NA into number of electrons per molecule. Just remember, moles to molecules and number of electrons. You don't need to find, you don't need to find number of atoms in between. You don't need to find, right? So you have this answer. So first you need to find N, N to molecule, molecules to electrons. So this is the question. So first we need to find, so N would be 1.8 by 18. As you know, molecular weight of water will be 18. So we have mole 0.1. So number of molecules would be, number of molecules would be 0.1 into Na. Number of molecules would be 0.1 into Na. And then number of electrons would be 0.1 into Na into. You need to find how many number of electrons per molecule. So in water, check it out. In water, hydrogen has two atom. So in, the, in, in case this, this has two electron, oxygen, uh, atomic number of oxygen is, you know, eight. So we have total 10 electron. So in one water, we have total 10 electron. As you know, atomic number of oxygen is eight, atomic number of hydrogen is one. So we have two hydrogen. So atomic number must be, uh, sorry, number of electron must be two from hydrogen side and number and eight from oxygen side. As you added them, you will have 10 electrons. So number of electron will be 0 0.1 into n and into 10. So we must see, this is our number of electrons equal to 0.1 into n a into n a. Just check it out. All right. You understand what is 410? So this is our correct answer. 0.1 into Na into 10. So you understand the situation, you understand the formula. We have this formula, find the number of, we have the question, find the number of electrons in 1.8 gram water. And in this case, we just find number of moles first, then molecules, then electrons. The, question, uh, the message is very clear. During 
calculation of electrons during calculation of protons during calculation of neutrons you don't need to find atoms just find moles moles to molecules molecules to directly electron directly proton directly neutron because we have this formula uh, it was like moles to molecules molecules to electron all of you are getting this is our uh, flow chart moles molecules atoms moles molecules electrons moles molecules protons moles molecules neutrons done i'm sure up, uh, all of you are understanding well all of you are getting well okay